Welcome to part 6 of my Mythic Mobs for Starters tutorial playlist. In this tutorial we are going to be covering damage modifiers. This is slightly different from the armor that we set in the first tutorial. This allows us a little bit more control over how our mob is going to be affected. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that in and type it over. I already added two dashes because I only plan to mess with two modifiers. You know what? We'll go ahead and make it three. So I'm going to use the modifiers that I know of. If you haven't already, if you want to modify this, go ahead and set your armor to zero. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just, um, we're going to go ahead and remove all of his equipment here. We, we don't want that for the sake of this tutorial. Actually, instead of deleting it, I'm just going to put hashtags in front of it so that way it does not get counted or read by the file. So the first one I want to talk about is Entity Attack. This does have to be in all caps. And what you're going to want to do is have a number followed by a decimal place followed by another number. Just like before, this is going to be the percentage. Any number after this is going to be percent value. So what this is saying is Instead of negating this much damage, it's only going to take this much damage. So if I set it to maybe 75, this means it's going to take 75% of the damage that we had initially do to it. <laughs> Let me go ahead and reload and show you. <coughs> Let me go ahead and spawn him back in here because we just removed his armor. Okay. So, we have it set to where he will only take 75% of the damage that we deal to him. Our sword does 7 damage. So this means we should be doing roughly roughly 4.55 damage. Or 6. Or 5. Yeah. As you can see, it's roughly 4.5. Since mobs don't work with decimal places for health numbers, it will just go ahead and skip on down to the lowest one, even if it's not accurate. So if this were 63.5, it would still only come up as 63. But as you can see, we're only doing about 4.5 damage to it, instead of the 7 that the diamond sword is supposed to do by default. Let me go ahead and trade that out with a normal sword. Okay, so... What we're going to do now, we're going to switch this down to 0 0.2. If I hit reload, he shouldn't take hardly any damage at all. At most, he might take 1 to 1.5 damage. My math seems pretty on point today. So as you can see, he's only doing, yeah, like I said, taking about 1 to 1.5 damage rather than 4.5 like he was before. So, this doesn't mean how much he's not going to take, this means how much he is going to take. So let's go ahead and just put that back at half. Next we're going to add a different one. Um, projectiles. And we're going to set that to 2. So what it's going to do is, if I reload, or what am I doing, reload, I arrow 2. Okay, so one thing I want to show first, we're going to have it set to 1, which is default, which you, uh, if you have it set to 1, you don't even have to add this line at all, but just for the sake of right now, we're going to do it just to show the damage differences. So by default, we shoot it, it does 7 damage. If we were to put it above 1, say 2, this means he's going to take 200% of the damage. Let's go ahead and reload. So instead of doing 7, he should now take 14 damage. My apologies, projectile was not supposed to have an S at the end of it. Do know that that will make a significant difference when you are testing your mob. So let's go ahead and reload now. So now, when I shoot him, he should take 200% of the initial projectile damage. As you can see, that is taking a big chunk away from his health. There are many different 
uh, damage modifiers that you can play around with. The last one we're going to do is lava, and I'm going to go and set that to zero, which is going to make for a pretty spooky looking mob. So I'm going to reload it here. I lava bucket one, and we're just going to pour it right on him. Now the reason he's taking damage is because he gets lit on fire, which is going to be associated with another damage modifier called fire and fire tick. If you set both of those to zero with lava, that means at any point he's on fire, he will not take damage. So now that we have those set, he'll still show the burn animation because it has to apply damage to him somehow. However, if you look at his health above, he is not taking any damage at all. This is pretty helpful if you're making any type of fire or lava based mobs, as it would make no sense for them to burn due to fire damage if that's what their main element is. That's all I have for you guys in the tutorial today. If you want to look at more modifiers and what they do, I will have a link in the description to the manual page that has it. I highly encourage you uh, play around with them and test it to your liking. Uh, be, do be careful with using modifiers um, while also using the armor because you can end up with some really, really crazy damage values that may just may not come off correctly if not done properly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more future tutorials. I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.